Hey guys, uh, Maximos TV here again with another update uh, regarding the situation on Daybreak or Darkpaw Games EverQuest. Uh, and uh, we have an update here regarding the server and I just want to let you guys know I kind of delayed posting this update and today is the 22nd. Uh, of June and the reason I kind of delayed is because there was a big update to the game done on June 17 2020 and most of what that update focused on was in-game fixes bug fixes uh, a huge nerf to uh, enchanters uh, enchanter pets uh, charmed pets uh, damage reduced by 20% but that's not what this video is about this video is about the performance of Eridun and it's a follow-up uh, to my last video which I'll link in the uh, description section below uh, but basically there was this big update on uh, June 17 2020 uh, they did all these fixes the servers were down for about uh, six to eight hours I don't remember uh, exactly how long um, and uh, basically, uh, the devs did not want to get our hopes up. There was actually nothing in the actual patch notes regarding uh, Eridun's server performance or the queue timers. And we got a post from Dreamweaver where he says, uh, some of the fixes for issues that were mentioned previously have gone in today. So we've raised the population cap slightly to a point we're comfortable with. This won't eliminate the queue entirely at this time, but you should see some changes to it. The team is continuing to work on the underlying issues and we will continue to update as more information is available. Now, ever since this update went through, um, the queues have been steadily going down. The first day, they were still the same massive, you know, five, six hour queues that you're used to. Um, but basically over the course of the week, uh, due to a number of factors, probably the increase in the allowable population on the server, and also the removal of the XP bonus, which now everyone realizes was a terrible decision, um, you're seeing people being able to log in right away. And, you know, it's 5.30 p.m. today on a Monday. This would be peak time uh, for most people logging in, people coming home from work and whatnot. I just logged into the server and was able to get in for the first time during a window like this without any queue whatsoever. Uh, the largest queue I've seen in, uh, in about the past, uh, let's say, four or five days was about 70 minutes. And actually, I got through faster than the estimated time, which has never happened. Um, so things are looking uh, a lot better, and I actually think that this might be a really good time uh, if you've been on the fence about playing on Eridun um, and maybe you want to try it out for like one month. You know, this might be a good time to pop in. It's in the classic era. Uh, you know, not not all that bad. Um, however, I will say, you know, we are dealing with Dark Pod games. They could disappoint us anytime. Uh, if you don't like how they handled the launch of the server, which many people don't, um, and a lot of people have. Uh, canceled their subscriptions from renewing which will definitely affect server population moving forward um you know by all means don't join them go play you know p99 or some other mmo um and you know vote with your dollars but i will tell you you know just as an update it's looking like queues are no longer a concern on Eridun, and actually server performance is starting to 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 really improve as well i have not seen uh, a lot of complaints about random crashes uh, from most of the player base. Uh, that was an issue that I was tracking very closely. Um, and also um, not seeing issues as far as zoning uh, between zones. That's working perfectly, just as we demonstrated in the last video um, when we talked about how they sort of put on that XP bonus and they put in a, a really harsh server cap. So, you know, basically I just wanted to make this video just to update you guys um, that Eridun is no queue right now. Uh, everything's good to go. So if you were sitting on the sidelines, now is definitely the time to hop in and play. And why don't I go ahead and, and show you uh, a load time real quick, just so we can demonstrate it. And we're popping in. And I won't I won't be cutting this, so this will be this will be the amount of time that it took. Um, but let's go ahead and pop in. We're over here. I think we're in Old Gook, and this is the zone line right here. So let's just pop right in. Go back up to Upper Gook. And we're loading it up. And boom. 
almost instant load time uh, to go in, to go past between zones. That used to take about five to ten minutes um, in the old situation before they put in those fixes. So it seems like whatever Darkpaw Games did seems to have worked. Uh, people are very happy with server performance as of today, uh, as of this week. Things were, have been working really well. I was able to play a ton this week. I actually got my Enchanter to level 35 as well as leveled some alts. So definitely uh, let me know if you guys are experiencing the same thing or if you're experiencing server issues on uh, on your side uh, or if you have any complaints about Darkbaugh games and their communication. Uh, I would definitely like to hear that in the comments below. You can catch me at twitch.tv slash Maximos TV. Uh, same handle on Twitter. Same handle here at YouTube. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.